to get some pudding. <laughs> you got pudding at the market, I didn't. This is fat free, right? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Oh, it's chocolate. I thought I grabbed the swirl. <laughs> You know, it's funny, Sp speaking of chocolate versus swirl, I'm naked! I'm devoid of clothing! I'm in my nude! I know, you're so naked these days. Since when did you start being naked all the time? Well, since I started living alone. Hey, just because you're naked doesn't mean you have to be cheeky. <laughs> oh, remind me to get you a bookmark. Okay, this isn't working. Well, what are you telling me for? Talk to your urologist. Thank you, New York! Now, maybe Jack and Karen were right. You know, maybe, maybe this moving across the hall hasn't solved our problem. Will, you just said Jack and Karen were right. I want you to cut wheat out of your diet. <laughs> Come on, look at you. You're still totally dependent on me. Why? Because I borrowed a pudding pack? No, Grace, you borrow everything. CDs, books, clothes. You spent half of last night looking through my apartment for bubble bath. So? You don't have a tub. <laughs> I hope you're at least planning on buying that pillow a drink. Grace, do not deflect. You can't do anything without me. You can't have a bath. You can't eat pudding. God knows you can't even cook a meal without me. <laughs> that was me laughing without you. <laughs> Because I happen to be throwing a fabulous dinner party tomorrow night. You're not having a party. Oh, but I am. <laughs> uh, perhaps you don't know about it because you're not invited. I'm not invited because there is no dinner party, Grace. Can't you see this arrangement isn't working? You have to move. And I don't mean across the hall, and I don't mean to another floor. I mean, you've got to move somewhere out there. Okay, now I'm confused. Do you want me to move east? or south. <laughs>